Welcome back to the Detroit Lions franchise as we head into week number five here coming off our bye week and so far we are 0-3 in the season looking for our first win and we're going to have to do it in a tough environment tough team against this 3-1 San Francisco 49ers team we got to do everything we can here to get on track get going here because the season's not over yet we still got plenty of weeks left but we got to do something now so here we go on the road this one will be in the end zone for a touchback, and we'll start at the 25-yard line. So here comes Carson Wentz. Been struggling a little bit to start this season, but if we can really get the run game going with Elliott, which we didn't do last week, let's see what we can do here now this week. So we'll start off with a six-yard gain there. Second and four. Wentz dropping back to pass. Watch out. Pressure coming, and that's going to be Nick Bosa coming off the edge. This Niners team up front is fantastic. So we got to do everything we can to protect the quarterback here. And on third and eight, we'll find Shark Jr. across the middle. And that is a catch for a first down. So good job picking up a big third down conversion there. Don't go three and out to start the ball game. And let's see if we can get this run game going. Here comes Elliott with the carry. And he's going to pick up more yardage there. He'll pick up about 12 for a first down. It's really important. I mean, he's the key to this team. If we can get him going... And uh, you get that run game going. The offensive line plays better. The passing game will be a lot better. Give Wentz a little bit more time. As Wentz rolling out, he'll take this one himself. He's going to slide down. And that block from uh, Justice Hill actually gave him an extra maybe three to four yards there for a first down. So picked up that third down. And we're continuing to move in here. So that is good to see. First and ten rolling out. Wentz looking. Watch out. Pressure there. And D. Ford comes in for the sack. You just know you're going to let up some sacks against this 49ers team. You just got to be able to overcome them, that's for sure. Third and 19, Wentz looking. Still not down. He's going to throw it. Somehow, I'm not sure how he uh, didn't get sacked there. Good job there just to get it out to Nicole Hardman. And uh, that's going to put us in field goal range. So a little bit of win in this ball game, but this 44-yard, 43-yard field goal is going to be up, and it's going to be good. Gets you in there, so... Decent drive to start out the ball game. We'll pick up three points, and here comes Jimmy Garoppolo. Nine touchdowns, four interceptions on the season last year. Had a bit of a rough year. You know, a couple years ago, went to the NFC Championship game. Last year, a bit of a disappointment. It looks like this year they're back at it, sitting at 3-1. and one. So uh, it's, it's a tough test against this team. we got to get a victory, but uh, this is a good team. Third and seven, though. We can get them off the field right away as Garoppolo is going to dump it down to Matt Breida. And that is going to be a stop as Moody is there to bring him down. So nice job by the defense stepping up, getting a three and out, and let our offense go to work once again here with about five minutes left in this first quarter as Elliott goes to the outside, has a good carry, breaks off a tackle using that stiff arm. He's going to throw off the man, and that is going to be another first down. So it looks like Zeke's having a good game here. So far, three carries for 28 yards. Second and five now. Let's go back to the ground game this time. This time it's going to be Justice Hill. He'll have enough there. Picks up around six for a first down. Now let's see if we can play action off this. As Wentz looking, plenty of time to throw. Looking, has a man open down the field. It's Justin Jefferson, and he comes away with the catch. First down there, 26-yard offense. Looks in rhythm so far. Second and 14, go to the ground again, and we'll go to Elliott up the middle, and he picks up good yardage there. Gain of, uh, it's going to pick up nine, so third and five here. Third and manageable as Wentz looking, dumps this underneath to Elliott, and he's got the first down after the seven-yard line. So let's see if he can put this win in so far. This is a fantastic start, exactly what we needed, especially after not even getting a victory yet this season. We need this. Second and goal. Elliott to the outside. He's going to have room, and he'll be in for the touchdown. Perfect drive by the offense. Elliott gets in there. Great blocking. Give credit to the outside there. Receiver as well. That's a touchdown of 10-0 now here in this first quarter. So right now, looking fantastic. But here comes Matt Breida with the carry and using that speed. He's going to pick up 24 yards there up to the 49-yard line. But so far, loving the start here from this team. Now, this is what we were hoping to see. First and 10, man, wide open is Dante Pettis. I'm not sure what happened on the outside there. But luckily, he is brought down before. Uh, that was definitely a touchdown. So San Francisco down to the 19 here. Maybe the last play of this first quarter as Brita makes the good move. Kind of runs into his own man, Yushek. If he doesn't do it there, that might be a touchdown. And actually fell short as we move into the second quarter. But on second and inches, they'll just hand the ball right back to him. And he picks up the first down. 
So second and goal now from the 10 for this Niners team. They're going to toss it. That's going to go to the outside. Great block there, and that's going to be a touchdown. So really good drive, good answer from this San Francisco offense coming right back, getting a score of their own, getting on the board here, making this 10-7. Yeah, look at this block right there, man. That was a great block. Not much you can do about it. So San Francisco gets the touchdown, puts us back to a three-point ball game, 10-7, as Wentz can't get rid of it in time. DeForest Buckner this time is going to get in there for the sack, and this is going to bring up a second and 18 as Wentz looking, pressure coming in his face. But he'll find Nicole Harmon, who breaks off a tackle. Did he pick up the first down? Using that speed, and he does. What a play there by the receiver. That was fantastic. Second and six, we go to Elliott on the ground. He breaks off a tackle of his own. Grinding for yards there, and he picks up nine and a first down. So looking good is the run game. If we can just stop getting those sacks here so far, the offense is good, really moving the ball as we're going to toss it out to Justice Hill using that speed to get to the outside, and he has enough to get to the edge. First down to the 40-yard line. Offense moving it once again. This is the best. This offense has looked so far. First and 10. Elliott on the ground. Breaks off, and he just continues to dig there, uh, using everything he can to get eight yards. Third and two. Back to Elliott on the ground, up the middle, and he'll have enough for another first down. So not only that, we're giving our defense rest. We're running the ball well. We can keep the uh, San Francisco offense off the field. And second and ten now. Wentz looking. He's going to dump this one off to Michael Hardman, who has room, and he's going to have a first down. So... Uh, when you put a linebacker on Hardman with his speed, you can pretty much forget about it, especially if you have time like we did there. So first and 10 RPO. We're going to go out to Hunter Renfro. Who's going to get in for the touchdown? Linebacker came up thinking it's going to be a handoff to Elliott since the run game has been so good. And then just a quick slant over to Renfro and then uses a little bit of effort to get in for the score. Great drive by the offense. Wentz looking good. Running game looking good, and we back get this back up to a 10-point lead. 17-7, best game we have played so far this season, no doubt about it. And a first and 10 coverage is good down the field, allowing Robinson to get in there for the sack, knocking back San Francisco to the 19. And it's going to bring up a third and 16. Garoppolo looking in the pocket, just going to dump it down to Brita, and we'll make this stop. We'll get a three and out. And uh, punt this ball back, and let's see if we got five minutes left here. We're really giving our defense some good uh, rest as well, especially if they, they get the three and outs, and we can continue to run the ball here. We can, uh, you know, keep them off the field. Let's see if we can do it here. Third and three, Wentz looking, just a four-man rush. He finds his man, Hawkinson, who comes away with the grab in contact. Perfect throw. That's what we want to see. First down up to the 43-yard line. And now we got 320 left here in this first half. So out in motion is Elliott on a second and 10. Man, they're bringing some heat, but it does not work out on their favor as Wentz is going to find Hawkinson easily for a first down. This is a really good first half for Carson Wentz. He has looked fantastic, 15 and 18, 161 and a touchdown. And you know, first and 10, that might be the worst throw he's thrown so far. Just a little bit off it for Renfro. Brings up a second and 10 as Elliott's going to go up the middle. Picks up another solid five yards there. So we got a third and short. Bringing a blitz. Wentz looking. Gets rid of it in time, but just cannot find his receiver. Maybe just got rid of it a little bit too early than he wanted to with the pressure there. But still, field goal. Another good drive resulting in points. And puts us up to a 13-point lead here with two minutes left in this first half. So what can the Niners do? Is they going to find Tyrell Williams? Didn't realize he was wearing 16. I should have checked that before the game. Obviously, Joe Montana's number shouldn't be wearing that number. But not much you can do about it now. As uh, Garoppolo finding a bit of the rhythm. He's going to have the catch there first down. And they're up to the 46-yard line. So Jimmy G dropping back in the pocket looking. And Moody is there to pick this one off. And he's going to be brought down up to the 46-yard line. But a huge mistake by Garoppolo trying to force it in there. Moody right there for the pick. The rookie has been really good this season. He's been fantastic, really. And now, chance to pick up some more points for halftime. And since we have all three timeouts, we can continue to run the ball. As you see, Elliott with a good carry there. He's got 87 yards here so far in this first half. Third and three. Wentz, flag on the play. So, more than likely, this is going to be holding. We'll have the completion to Jefferson. But, yeah... It's going to be holding call. 
bring this one back. It's going to take us out of field goal range, but so do our best here to get some yards just to get back in the field goal range. Wentz looking, pocket, and he's going to be brought down for the sack. So San Francisco's D does the job, forces a punt after the turnover, and that's going to bring us to halftime here. It has been a very good first half for this Detroit Lions team. A lot better, the best we've seen so far, up 20-7, to looking for our first victory of the season. So let's see how another division opponent is. Minnesota, they are up 21-10 to over Kansas City. Jameis Winston looking good with two touchdowns. Minnesota at 1-3 and three on the season, trying to turn their season around as well. And you can see Green Bay has won. They've beaten Tampa Bay. They go to 2-2 two and two on the season. And we'll see them in a few weeks. We will see Aaron Rodgers and that Green Bay team here in a few weeks. But right now, just trying to take care of this San Francisco team. First and 10 as they will get the ball to start off this second half. And that will be a completion underneath as Pettis goes down a little bit shaken up. Only picking up a few yards. So second and 8. Play action now. Garoppolo pressure coming and he's going to go down. Uh, Payne coming in there for the sack. Obviously vill villain in for Davis and through the injury. So that knocks him back to the 21. Brings up a third and long as Garoppolo just going to dump it down to Brita trying to make some moves. But that is going to be stopped and that is going to be a three and out. So great job by the defense once again. Another three and out here from this defense who's really stepped up and played a lot better than they have really the whole season. But look at this punt. Wow. All the way down to the one, just stops perfectly. So this is what we got to deal with. First and ten from the one. Hand off to Elliott up the middle. Good block there by the fullback, and he's over his own lineman. He's going to pick up eight to the nine. Second and two, just still trying to get out of this field position, and that's exactly what we do as Elliott bounces through there. He's over 100 yards for this ball game, up to the 22-yard line, so at least we got out of that. Uh, really bad field position. First and ten. Wentz looking. That's going to be an interference there. Hawkinson looks like he was definitely pulled. Yep, that's going to be pass interference. That'll be an automatic first down. And uh, we're up to the 28-yard line. So first and ten. Play action. Rolling out. Watch out. And here comes Nick Bosa off to the side. Not sure if it really should continue to call those rollout plays. Our offensive line just not as good. Does not work out in our favor as Wentz on third and 19. He's going to go down again. DeForest Buckner with his third sack of the ball game. This is going to be, obviously, so far this game's been a lot better, but that's that's the what we have to improve this offseason. It's already looking, you know, the offensive line just is, doesn't hold up well, especially if we face a really talented defensive line like we did in Carolina a few weeks ago. And then this one, it's an absolute disaster. We can barely protect our quarterback and, uh, we can't have that. So that's going to be number one priority going into the offseason is definitely the uh, offensive line as Garoppolo under pressure breaks off his sack and found, finds Pettis for the first down. So San Francisco trying to use their defense to help out their offense here. Third and seven now. And this time finally will bring down Garoppolo. He did break off the first one from Griffin, but it's cleaned up and bring up the sack. So San Francisco is going to back the kicker here. About a 49, 50-yard field goal. This one's going to be up. It's going to curve in, and it's going to be good. So San Francisco gets us back to a 10-point ball game. So, yeah, maybe we just got to go back to the run game here with Elliott and not allow any pass rushing available as Elliott is going to be going down. Oh, no. Not what we want to see there holding his back. Third and one. We'll go to Justice Hill up the middle. He'll pick up the first down. Let's see if there's any injury report here in Elliott. Hopefully he is okay. We don't want to see him go down. Just he will return soon with a pectoral strain. So that is good. He'll be back in this ball game. Second and five. Somehow, I am not sure how that was even found. The receiver found the ball. I'm not sure how Wentz got rid of it, but he does. First down. Up to the 48. Second and 14 to the outside. And Mikhail Harmon with another fantastic grab. That pass is on the money. As we'll go third and inches here, go to Justice Hill on the ground, and he's got himself a first down. So good try by the offense after uh, it was a bit of a couple disasters with the offensive line, but looking good here. As you can see, Elliott is back. We move into the fourth quarter looking for a first win. Third and one. Give it Elliott on the ground. He's got the first down up to the 21-yard line, and we'll continue to move the clock. Look for at least, got to get some points here, obviously in field goal range. Just hold on to the ball. First and ten. And off to Elliott. Got some room to run to the outside. Makes a move. First down, down to the nine. 
And that's going to give us a goal to go situation here, man. If we can put this in the end zone, that would be absolutely fantastic. Second and goal from the four. You can see Elliott is in the zone here, so just give him the ball. Goes to the outside, plenty of room to run. He's in for the touchdown. His second of the ball game. Exactly what we needed. You can see he's he's tired. Offensive line's going to pick him up. But still, excellent drive. Getting the touchdown. Up 17 now. So let's see if we can hold on to this ball game and pick up victory number one on the season. On second and two, Blitz comes from the outside. Levi Wallace is in there for the sack. Brings up now a third and eight. So San Francisco going empty. Garoppolo dumps this one underneath the Tyrell Williams, but nobody is around him. So he easily turns it upfield for the first down. 8.30 left in this ball game. Garoppolo looking. That's going to be caught. And that will be up to around the 47-yard line. So San Francisco obviously not going quietly here. But they got to get a score quick. Down three scores. Garoppolo looking. Going up top. Flag on the play. Knocked away. Ball still loose. Still going. And just falls incomplete. This is going to be a holding call on San Francisco. So we'll take that penalty and move it back. And now it's a third and 18 from the 46. As Garoppolo should have been picked there. Oh, man. Kraft should have picked this one off, but does not. It's going to bring up a fourth and 18 now. Could be the ball game pretty much for San Francisco. As this is going to be knocked away. Incomplete. And now we have a chance here to just waste some clock here. Looking like we're going to get victory number one of the season. Wentz on a second and 21. Going to get this to DJ Shark, who is going to have some good moves. He's up to the 36, close to a first down. But that's going to put us now, give us the ball. Yeah, give it to Elliott. Go right up the middle here. Exactly what we want to see is Elliott gets to the outside, gets himself a first down easily, picks up 11. He's got 161 on the game. He has been fantastic. Two touchdowns. Brings up a third and five. Don't want to get anything crazy here. We'll just end up running the ball. And you know what? I think we're going to go for it here just to run clock. That would, uh, you know, we're up 17. You know, the extra field goal doesn't really help out. It's already a three-possession ball game. So that's going to make San Francisco have to go, you know, at least 80 yards to get the touchdown at the 21-yard line. Wasted a, a little bit more clock because really the clock – is what we want to get out of here. But on third and six, pressure up the middle. Matabuke gets in there for the sack. Back to the 19-yard line. So this is it for San, for San Francisco. Fourth and 11 as Garoppolo looking to the outside. Finds Tyrell Williams. And he's going to be off to the races. And that is going to be a touchdown. The rookie Winston just cannot make the play. So San Francisco gets what they need. That is a big touchdown there. Puts it back to 10. It's still a two-possession ball game. They still have all their timeouts in the two-minute warning, but they're going to set up an onside kick here. This could be it. If we can get this, we can pretty much end the ball game as the onside kick is not going to work out. Shark is going to be there to pick that one up. And uh, with 2.19 left, that was it. We ended up running the rest of the clock out, and that is victory number one of the season. It has finally arrived. We finally played a very uh, a four-quarter type of ball game. Zeke just absolutely, we relied on 31 carries, 173, two touchdowns. He was fantastic. Give Carson Wentz, and Mikhail Harbin had a great game, but yeah, Wentz was really good. I mean, even with the pressure in his face and getting hit, you know, eight, nine, ten times, he did everything he could. He played fantastic. I thought he was uh, really good. As uh, the defense, same thing. This is probably the best game they played. Even, you know, take away that long touchdown at the end to Tyrell Williams. He played really good. Really good. And it's something, you know, hopefully we're starting to see the growth of this defense. They're su we're super young. There's a lot of young players on this team. So you know it's going to take a while. Um, but if we could see that development of the defense and see some young guys step up, that's exactly what we want to see because... We're going to continue to run the ball with Elliott. That's the game plan. Run the ball with Elliott. You know, we have a quarterback we can trust. And if we can run the ball, hold on to the time possession, and limit the other team's possessions, and that just helps our defense out even more. You know, it's going to put pressure on the offense. They're all their offenses to, you know, score quickly because we're going to hold on to that ball. And, uh, you know, we might not have the best offense in the line in the world, but we can do what we can to, you know, Make sure we get some points and uh, give our defense some rest. As we'll see, 
Joe Burrow and this Denver Broncos team, a guy we tried to sign in the offseason. He goes to Denver, and uh, we will see this Broncos team going to Denver. They're a pretty good team. You can see the contract he got. We gave him a lot more. We offered a lot more, but uh, just did not accept it. As you can see, the receiver core, Young, Colin Johnson, Sutton, Washington. This is a pretty good receiving core as well. well same with Noah Fant at tight end. So they got some weapons for Joe Burrow, that is for sure. And uh, we'll see what this Denver team has. They look pretty good. As you can see, Carolina at 5-0. Raiders at 4-1. The Bears have yet to lose as well. They are 4-0. And you can see the Dolphins, the Super Bowl team that was in last year, 0-5. Man, what a turnaround. They just cannot get anything going. Only scoring 79 points in their first five games as well. Not good. But we'll go to Denver, face a 2-3 Denver team, and we'll try to get our second win of the year. Go two in a row on the road again and see what we can do but that's going to do it for this one thank you guys so much for all the support i really appreciate it you guys are fantastic if you'd help me out and leave a like on this video that would be fantastic and if you have not subscribed please do so as well i will see you guys in the next one you guys have a good one bye bye